Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with dialogues in a custom Alexa skill. And we're going to be using a template from DabbleLab.com. So if you're not watching this video on DabbleLab.com, head over to DabbleLab.com and click the templates menu. And from there, you'll see a list of templates, and we're going to be working with template number 12, Alexa Dialogue Delegate Skill Template. So you want to Click on that, and we're going to need to download the source code. But to do that, you need to be logged in. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can create one. They're free. You just need to click the Need an Account option here. So let's go ahead and do that. And when you log in, that'll give you access to the template details page. And the template details page contains a tutorial video that shows you how to get the template set up. And uh, in this case, you're watching that video right now. And then also a download link to download the uh, source code. And then this is new at the bottom here, but you can ask questions or leave comments about the template down here. We'll respond to those just as quickly as possible. So we'll start by downloading the source code. And all of the template source code gets downloaded as a zip file. So we need to unzip it first. So we'll just go extract that. And there will be a new folder that's created with the template name. And within that folder is all of the source code that we need for the template. Uh, the templates are set up to work with the Alexa Skills Kit uh, command line interface, the Ask CLI. Uh, and most of them now also uh, can be used with the, uh, in, uh, the Alexa hosted skills. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use some of the uh, the code from this template here we won't need all of it um, to uh, to set up the uh, the example and we'll use alexa hosted skills because that is the easier if you're just getting into this stuff the, the easier path but if you know how to use the ask cli um, and certainly use the ask cli just navigate into this folder and then you would use the ask deploy command and we've got other tutorials that walk through that if you're not familiar with that process or getting the ask cli set up all right with that let's head over to developer.amazon.com. So you want to go log in at developer.amazon.com. If you don't have an Amazon developer account, you can create one. They are free also. And then once you've created your account and logged in, you want to head to the Alexa developer console. And you can do that by going in the, uh, the upper right, the little ellipse menu, and then find the Alexa developer console here. And that will um, take you to a page where You'll find a button to create a new skill. So just click that Create Skill button. And I'm going to call this Demo Skill. And the skill uh, model that we're going to use is custom, which is the default. But we're, uh, we come down to the, um, the provisioning method for the back end. We're not going to provision our own. We're going to use the Alexa-hosted skill option for Node.js. It's a Node.js template. And then just click Create Skill. And setting up the, um, the hosted skill for the first time takes uh, about a minute. So we'll let that run and then uh, head back over here and talk about the template for just a minute. So um, in this template, we're going to need two files. We're going to need the interaction model, which is in the models folder, the file named en-us.json. And then we're also going to need the um, index.js file, the source code from that. So when our hosted skill is ready, we'll copy and paste those into the, uh, the code editor through the, um, uh, the developer console, the Alexa uh, developer console. Um, also with this one, we're going to uh, need to enable some, or configure the, the skill to work with dialogues, uh, which we'll, uh, we'll do in just a second here. So looks like our skill is ready to go. So we'll start by going back over to the developer console and then uh, you want to click on the JSON editor. And here we're going to replace this interaction model, this demo skill interaction model, with the interaction model from the template. And we can do that by just going back over to the template code that we downloaded, and then we can just drag it and drop it here. And now we've got our template 12 um, interaction model. And the invocation name here, um, template 12 is the invocation name we're using for the template. But of course, if you were going to use this as the basis for a skill that you plan to publish, you would want to change this to whatever invocation name you were wanting to use. And then from there, we just save the model. 
And um, actually, before we build the model, I want to do one thing. We need to go to the uh, the interfaces, and we need to toggle on the auto delegation interface here, this bottom one, and this lets um, Alexa manage the, uh, the the dialogue, the conversation, and we're going to be using that. So we'll toggle that on, and then save the interfaces. And now we can build the model. We'll go ahead and build it. And that'll take about a minute. So while that's building, we'll head back over to our template uh, source code and find the index.js file. And that's in the Lambda custom folder. And then open that up with a text editor or a code editor of your choosing. I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. You can use text edit or notepad if you're on Windows. Visual Studio Code is what I'm gonna use. And then you want to select all of this source code and then head back over to the developer console and go to the code editor in the developer console. So if you click on the code tab there, that will take you to the code editor. And we're going to first, we're going to replace all of the code in this index.js, which is open by default. So you just want to select all of that and then paste over it with the code that we copied from our template. We're gonna save that. There's actually one more um, thing we need to do here. So this template uses the uh, ask SDK and uh, the default when you create a new hosted skill, whoops, got the wrong thing there, uses the um, ask SDK core, which is kind of a, a lightweight version of the ask SDK, so like a minimal, minimal version. And so we actually need to, uh, to change this up as well. And we'll just go grab the um, package.json from the template and we can open that with our code editor also and just select all of that and then go back over here and we'll just do the same thing. We'll just paste over the package.json code there just like that and we will save it and now we're ready to deploy and because of this little change here uh, it's going to take a little bit longer because it's going to need to pull the um, ask sdk from nvm and so when we deploy this we'll notice if you've worked with hosted skills before this is going to take a little bit longer than uh, than normal and once that's done, we'll be able to um, we'll be able to test it. But while that's working, let me talk through what's going on here, the important points. So when the skill launches, it's going to ask you uh, if you want a fact, um, and prompt you to say, "Tell me a fact," to see the dialogue delegate in action. And um, these are the important points here. So there's there's two. Uh, handlers that are uh, worth looking at if you're trying to wrap your head around how the uh, dialogue and the dialogue delegate works. So um, you can see this fact intent handler here is uh, looking for an intent request that is um, where the intent name is the fact intent. And that's the same up here also, um, except for it's also qualifying that with whether or not the dialogue state is completed. And if it's not completed, then what's going to happen is it's going to delegate back to that current intent. So it's going to keep passing the control back to the Alexa service to decide what the, the next step is. And that's all defined in the interaction model. When the dialogue state is completed, then down here we get our result, which is handled by this fact intent handler. So Looks like everything is deployed now, so we can test it out. We'll go to the test tab and enable testing for development. And we can um, start testing with the Alexa simulator by just typing the uh, invocation name. Say, tell me a fact to see the dialogue delegate in action. Okay, so now uh, we can say, tell me a fact. Which city do you want to know the fact about? You can say London or Paris or New Delhi. Say London. 
Here's a fact about London. Big Ben is arguably London's most famous landmark. Surprisingly, it is actually meant to go by the name the Clock Tower, while Big Ben is the name of the bell. And um, down here, you can see that the um, this request here, the dialogue state is completed. But if we were looking at a previous request, which we can't see, the dialogue state would not be completed. And that's why we um, get that the passed back to the Alexa service. So that's what's happening in that code. So um, just a, a quick intro to using the um, dialogues and dialogue delegate. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave those or comments under here, like I pointed out earlier. And thanks so much for watching.